and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! Woo! Getting you a good view of my eyes there. But yes, we are actually not in Zoodacia today. If you recall from yesterday, we are exploring! Exploring on the edge of the tundra and Featherfall Forest uh, that we've never really visited. Like, we've come here once or twice and we've done a bit of mining and whatnot, but I've never really, like, hunkered down and tried to detail investigate the area. So I'm actually pretty excited to spend a little bit of time doing that. And also, hello, Mr. Polar Bear! Release many of his kind. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six polar bears that Mara left us that I need to put away. Also, let's see, that volcanic rock is for the temperate forest area. Just need to kind of tuck a few of these things away. Don't even know how I got that bone. Uh, this is a panther. <laughs> In fact, actually, the panther would probably really enjoy being released out here, now that I think of it. There's a lot of beautiful land. Oh, this is wonderful, Sunflower. We're finding homes and relocating animals left and right. But yes, so we're still up in our spruce tree. I'm loving it. It's an awesome tree. Is this a spruce? No, excuse me. It's a giant oak tree. Uh, I'm just having some difficulties, like, making sure that it's big enough for everything that I need. Like, my, my bed. <laughs> I don't like how my bed is all turned sideways, so we're going to fix that. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day and enjoying just our little observa like observatory or little observation post that we've got here. I really hope I don't fall. Do you guys remember how this forest got its name? This, these beautiful, I mean, look at these beautiful trees. Really, just look at that. Beautiful giant trees. Look at the size of that one. It's huge. Oh my gosh. But these gorgeous trees got their name, uh, Featherfall Forest, because of the time Sunflower and I were trying to collect epitites off the side. Epitites are those plants that grow on the sides of the trees, like those ones. They're beautiful, they're amazing, I'm addicted to collecting them, and I fell to my death and lost all of my stuff <laughs> when uh, I last tried to collect them. So I need to make sure I use a bit more caution than last time. However, we do have our feather falling four boots, which were gift like created, crafted after I lost everything else, including my leaf armor. And then Mr. Anvil Man showed up and ended up blasting my poor little my poor little leaf hat to smithereens. You guys are gonna be meeting Anvil Man in uh, season two. Alright, put that there. There we go. There we go. See now I'm now I'm feeling like filling in these little corners that I thought would be decorative before. And so far, we're not dead. But that just makes me concerned that I'll get a little bit... No, why did I do that? Oh, well, that actually looks pretty cool. Nice. Uh, yeah, so far, not not have plummeted to my death. Oh, dang it, why did I do that? <laughs> hey, you, get off there. I know I'm coming, Sunflower. I haven't forgotten you. Um, well, fudge knuckles, and I just dropped, just dropped another one of those. All right, let's come this way. Carefully now. I am pretty reckless when it comes to these kinds of explorations. All right, and then let's put this chest down here. Mm, we can put this one right here. And in goes the wood and all these pieces. There we are. All right, whoops, <laughs> another oak sapling. That's fine, that's fine. Now to catch my sunflower. So she slipped off the leaves when they decayed under her feet a little bit ago, and now I need to get her again uh, and possibly make sure that this is a good landing platform for her. Let's clear a few of these out. Oh, and there's a mushroom! Look at our leafy mushroom! Oh, oh, oh! I got him! I got him! Yay! I'm gonna put it right here and we're gonna do an experiment to see if we can get mushrooms to spread because I really think it would be fun to make like bridges between the trees and to grow naturally grown mushrooms on their leaves. I think that would be awesome. Alright, hopefully that clears off enough. Alright, Sunflower, I'm gonna try to like gently come down and then you and I together will get to the ground and we can work on finding a good spot to put the panther. You ready? Okay. I'm not nervous. I'm not... Okay, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous about the sunflower. Oop! Okay, we're good. We're good. Hi, sweetie! She's like, Mom, there you are! Yay! Oh, that wasn't... What was that? That was like the roar of a hungry something something, wasn't it, sunflower? All right. And safe! Yay! We're safe on the ground! There we go, that wasn't so bad. Ah, see, those kinds of, like, setting up observatory posts, and look at the tree. Isn't it such a cool tree to build an observatory post in? It's just awesome. 
because it's got it's got like multicolor leaves and it's just split like between the Arctic and what is this biome anyway? Hello, chicken. Let's see. So this would be Arctic biome, right? Oh, excuse me. Ice plains and temperate rainforest. What a mix. <gasps> moss. Oh my gosh, it's moss. Oh, I got to collect some of this. I love collecting moss. We'll have to see how much we can gather as a little lucky piece. But yeah, let's go. Let me get this uh, crafting bench I left over here. And let us see what is hiding in the area. Because we do want to try to explore this world as much as possible. Alright. Because that's what we do. We're kind of we're kind of like park rangers that way of our of our own territory. All right, let's see. We'll put bat pick away for now. Um, and I need to get out some arrows. Somebody said like you don't need to worry about arrows when you have an infinity bow, Siri, and that's true as long as you have at least one arrow in your inventory, like active inventory. Oh yeah, I think our panther will like this area. But yeah, I just I think we're gonna change policy. We are not going to keep animals. Unless we have exhibits for them from now on. Sunflower, are you going to be okay over there? Yeah? I think she'll be okay. Doesn't seem like... Ah! Doesn't seem like there's any dangerous creatures that way. Just some chickens kind of taking a bath in the water. Spinning around in circles. That's adorable. <gasps> More moss. Eh, eh. There we go. And you. And you. Did I get all of it? I could have sworn I broke three pieces. Already had two. Ha! See, I know how to count my moss. I can count my moss indeed. All right, there's a boar. Gonna have to watch out for him. All right, nice. Oh, there's a crow nearby, okay. Lots and lots of sheep, lots of cows. Yeah, this is a pretty good prime territory for predators. So I'm gonna release the panther. There you go, buddy. And hopefully he won't be so inclined to try to chase us. Wow, I can't believe there was so much moss just right in our own backyard. Oh! I thought you were the panther and I just about like killed over of shock. No, you can stay right there. You can stay right there, Mr. Boar. He got himself stuck in the leaves. Isn't that funny? The boar like tried to eat us. And then he gets himself stuck inside of the leaves. And somehow I picked up a stray bird egg while while we were having that whole that whole little incident. That's pretty funny. Alright, where'd my tea go? Oh, there's my tea. It's in my, my hands the whole time. Take that! I hope you learn your lesson and you don't eat, like, innocent biologists who are trying to do some field work. And that is indeed what we're doing today. A little bit of biology field work, uh, just poking around. We really want to try to think about all sorts of cool things that we could build and do, too. Like, there's uh, another boar guarding that beehive I kind of want. <gasps> Moss! Because we are going to be, once we hit season two, we are going to be all over the place with adventures and chaos. So every now and then, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I get my head cleared. Right. Ow! Why did I walk on that? I stared right at it. I went, that's an unfamiliar plant. And I walked right over it. That was so silly. There's a woody blue it. Get out of here. Little poison ivy thingies. Oop, there's the moss again. Hey, my moss. Uh-uh. That's right. I snagged it before he could. All right. Oh, and look at these pretty things. Yeah, this is a very healthy forest. Very healthy rainforest. Oh, what are those? Those are very pretty. Oh, wow. Are those marigolds? <gasps> it's a chanterelle. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Isn't this fascinating? Look at how, like, we've got all sorts of different fungi growing under this low-lying hedgerow right here. Absolutely awesome. Oh, my gosh. And you turn right around. There's more moss. Wonderful. It spreads quite actively, too. All right, let's pop down over there. We better go see Sunflower again now that it's becoming night. Oh, you stuck, Mr. Sheep. I hope that renders you some assistance. Pretty sure it did. All right, then let's... Oh, look at that! Wild carrots! Jeez, it's been a while since I've seen wild carrots. That's awesome. Oh, and a beautiful dove! All right, come here, my love. I'm going to take you. Yeah, Hi! Come here. I'm going to take you to, to the Village of Light. They raise doves. Is that okay? You want to come with me? Maybe? Are you thinking about it? Come on. Oh, I got him. There we go. So we'll take this lovely dove to the Village of Light with us. Because they do raise doves there. Oh, jeez. I fell in that hole. You got to pay attention when you're going on these little expeditions. Little field expeditions. But let's pop up in our tree and take a quick nap with Sunflower. But yeah, so what do you guys think about having some pretty cool, like, mushroom 
little mushroom field forest things going on between the trees. And I think that would be fun. All right, up some flower just a little bit more. Come on, you can do it, sweet. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right, good. I know my observation platform works for my uh, my feathered flying buddy to land on. Ah, much better. All right, come on, sunflower. Oh, who's a good girl? Are you a good girl? Yeah. I need you to help me get up and down here. Oh, sunflower, while we're up here. Na 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 na. Appetites. I I can almost reach him, darling. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. The dweet woo! The dweet woo indeed, my dearest. Where's the other ones? I know they're around here, Sunflower. I saw them. Sunflower, I don't see them, and now you're way up there. I didn't think this through. <laughs> oh, when will I learn? When will I learn that my fever for plants gets me in so much trouble sometimes? <gasps> Not food! Not food! Not food! Not food! Not food! Sunflower! Would you be so inclined? <laughs> Dang it, Sheeps! This is what I mean! This is what I mean! I'm not two minutes into all of this nonsense, and I, I totally get distracted. And oh, I only got one sulfur shelf, too. Oh, I'm feeling like a very humble pie silly goose right now. How on earth am I going to get back up there? Sunflower! <laughs> Mom's stuck! I'm coming! I'm trying to figure out how we're going to do this, Sunflower. Um, oak leaf, pop, and... Alright, pop, pop. I think I'm just going to have to pillar my way out of leaves back up, Sunflower. So hang on, darling. How, how absolutely embarrassing. Oh, I'm going to be more careful this time. I'm not going to fall. But yeah, that just goes to show you guys. Even when you're uh, jumping around trails. See, I feel like I have to do some sort of public service announcement to take the sting of embarrassment away and, and let my humiliation serve a purpose. So even when you're familiar with the trails, even when you see your favorite things in the whole world, try to use a note of caution when you're pursuing them. Sunflower, I don't even know how I'm going to get up there, but I'm trying my best. Never thought I'd make pillars out of leaves, but I don't know why I haven't thought of it before. Alright, here we go. One, two, come on. Three, four. I could have sworn. There we go. Aha! I saw you, you sneaky appetite. Or I thought I did. I could have sworn I was just looking straight into the, the eyes of a beautiful king orchid, Sunflower. Have I gone mad? Oh, at least I've got you back, my dear, and that's what's important. Aha! I missed the tree. We overshot sunflower. That was the the whole the whole cause of the issue. Uh, how could I get off without getting thrown off over here? Oh, we did it, sunflower! Now we'll more delicately reach down, collect the specimens. Oh, this was quite a prolific tree. I wonder if it had some sort of like bark piece, some sort of something, my dearest. There we go that encouraged those appetites to grow more than on other trees. Maybe it was sunnier over there, who knows. But alright, enough poking at plants and things. We need to find somewhere to unleash these polar bears and to set them free. So let me see, hmm. Yeah, this area might be good. There's a few polar bears, but there's also like large prey like the mammoths. I wonder if the polar bears actually, see that one's eating that cow. But I wonder if some of the polar bears in this area actually work together to eat. Because that would explain why there's so many of them. Maybe they, like, semi-hunt together for the sake of those woolly mammoths. Alright, let's see. Let me put all my plants away. There we go. Nice. Got some of the, the wild carrots. Good. We need this. Good, good, good. Put these away. I'm going to keep this bird. And now we can get some of the many, 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 many <laughs> polar bears that we have. And we will let them go and run for our lives. Okay. Let it go. Oh, lordy. Sunflower. Up, 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 up. Rude. I just unleashed you in a beautiful paradise full of food and abundance. And what do you do? Try to eat me. Well, I'm putting this next one, like, down, like, oh, I guess we can just unleash, well, on Sunflower, run for it, Sunflower! 
Oh, that one stood up on its hind legs to try to get us. Ungrateful polar bears. That's what I'm saying. Ungrateful indeed. But at least they're not roaming around Mara's place now. That was very dangerous for her. We don't want her life to be at risk. There's a little polar bear. Ow. Gratitude. Oh, penguins! There's so many of them! Ah! Tiny polar bear! Oh my gosh, and there was another one! There were two of them coming for me. What is this nonsense? Look at all the penguins! I want to study the penguins! I think there's too many polar bears. More penguins! Oh my gosh! Okay, Sunflower, hang on. This is when I wish I had my safari in that launcher. Then I could unleash them a safe distance away. Right, Sunflower? Oh, look at all these penguins! Is there is there like a spot I could unleash the polar bears? Just like a glacier or something I could put them on? All right, we'll put a we'll put a few of them. Oh, here we go. Polar bears actually one of the ways that they stay healthy with their abdominal muscles. Woo! Out of there just in time. Good job, sunflower. This must be as nerve wracking for you as it is for me. But one of the ways that polar bears actually keep healthy in the wild uh, is that they break the ice, and it takes incredible abdominal strength to be able to break the ice. All right, and up, 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 up. Good job, Sunflower! Jeez, now we can get, like, out of their way. And being out on the ice, they're a little less prone to, like, rush us. Ugh, I can take a refreshing sip of tea for a second, because, good gracious. That's gratitude for you, Sunflower. That's gratitude. Running around trying to eat my face off. Ingrates. Oh, Sunflower, look at that! What's this? Oh, she's so fast. I forget how quick she is sometimes. There's a cool cave here! We'll have to peek into this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll have to peek in on this cave a little bit. But I do want to go back and kind of look at where. Oh, here's a penguin. All right, one second, darling. In fact, did you take any damage from those polar bears? Are you hurt? Nah, she's okay. All right, I'm going to just gently chuck that over there. Look at the little Arctic fox. It's so cute. And here we go. Here's some penguins. How are you doing, penguins? Is that so? Hi, guys. I'm going to just gently, like, like analyze what you are. Emperor penguins! No way! Oh, that's so cool! Look at all of them! It seems like they have a very strong colony here, too. There's quite a few of them. They're spread out a bit. Oh, that's a canyon. That's fine. Gotta be careful about that. Yeah, look at them! What's that? Okay, just a black sheep. Oh, I like their little noises! Hi, little one. How you doing? Oh, this is fun. I wonder, what can I do with an emperor penguin? I think I can actually come up to a penguin. Do I have any fish in case this totally backfires on me? I have a fish net. I have no fishing rod, which is kind of ironic. And I have no raw fish, but I'm pretty sure you can come up to a very, a very penguin. Hello, penguin. I just want to, like, casually, pardon me, and then, like, snip. Can I snip, snip? Snip, snip, snip. I think you have to use penguin shears. Is that it? Shears. Steel shears, shears, penguin shears. Oh, I don't want to have to kill a penguin per penguin shears. And besides, you have to get, like, back penguin. Oh, no! I wouldn't want to do that to you, buddy. He's, like, sassing me about it. Oh, it would be so fun to collect, like, all these emperor penguins and make a really cool glacier. And, like, put them on top of, like, an iceberg, glacier, snowy area. Lots of, like, arctic fish swimming around. And squid. I'm pretty sure that the bigger penguins uh, will also eat, like, the small squid and things like that. But I know the little ones, Sunflower, are just interested in, like, plankton and krill. Krill is actually what, like, your Humboldt penguins and your smaller penguins will eat. And then these big guys will actually eat squid and uh, fish. Lots and lots of fish. Oh, got that geishal green again. I guess that's useful for you, Sunflower. I want to learn how to make recipes out of the geishal greens. And I don't just mean, like, these ones. Like, you can make a cake. I mean, I would love to combine it with Pam's Harvest Craft somehow and, like, make very useful geishal re recipes. I'm pretty sure you can make pickles. I think we were going to make pickles one day because we always have so many spare geishals. Yeah, geishal pickles. Oh, all you have to do is just, like, put a geishal green together with some sugar. Maybe that's what we'll do, Sunflower. We'll turn some of these abundant geishals I get and into, like, a pickle factory of some kind. 
Ah, but there we go. So we're relieved of our biggest burden, which was actually getting the polar bear situated. And now we've actually got, uh, got a lot of really cool things to poke around here. I really do want to explore a little bit more. If, uh, in theory, oh, that's fine. What the heck? I heard a demon horse, and then all of the penguins start making squawky noises like they're very upset about something. I think we're going to have to investigate this cave. That sounds like a fun thing to do, Sunflower. So we'll have to poke around this cave a bit. But what kind of what kind of cool exhibits, it, it, literally cool, would you guys want to see when we make our, our Arctic and our polar areas? And we will be doing exhibits again soon. Right now, if you guys have any advice for things we should collect before Season 2, let me know. Because right now, we're not going to be building new exhibits before Season 2. But Season 2 is less than two weeks away now. I think it's about two weeks, actually. But when Season 2 hits... Oh, it's going to blow your guys' mind. I'm so excited. But yeah, let me know. What do you think we should collect? What do you, what do you think if um, if we, you know, we're potentially going somewhere new, Sunflower, what should we take with us other than all of our animals and exhibits and everything? What from this world should we look for? That's the big question. All right, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.